Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Skywars Reloaded. So I did this plugin a while ago, but it has changed significantly uh, in the way you create maps. So I'm going to go over that, we're going to have a little game and then we will hop into the config after to show you how you can change uh, different variables and add kits and whatnot. So, um, let me see, if I go into game mode 1, uh, this is a random chest, obviously you can edit what comes inside. And obviously, um, the idea is to knock the players off or kill them. Um, so yeah, you can make the maps however you want, uh, which is pretty cool. I made this in a few minutes using World Edit. Um, so if I go over here and um, kill my other account, he obviously used um, one of the kits, which is why he's got diamond armor. Uh, so you can obviously edit all of this in the config. And then we go, so I've won, I've got um, more points, and obviously points mean prizes, and you can buy stuff. There is a shop as well, and you can spectate people, and then you can obviously return to spawn and leave the game. Um, so, um, let's go ahead and just rejoin the server, like that, and um, we don't actually want any of this. We want to go to MVTP World, where we are going to create a brand new map. So I'm going to create a really small, simple one uh, just for the tutorial. But um, yeah, this is the one I created that you saw in game. So basically, uh, you can make as many different um, platforms as you want. So let's go ahead and just create it using World. Of it. So if we do CYL. Uh, 155 and then 5. That will create a nice platform. We can stick as many chests on it as we want and other stuff. So you can make it however you want. Uh, these will all automatically refill each time you play. And then if we go out a few blocks and uh, do the same command, maybe a bit smaller like that, and get rid of all these blocks. We don't need them. Um, yeah. Maybe up here we can add um, some sort of interesting tree. Um, but yeah, let me just do this quickly. Really tiny tree, just to show you how to create it. And obviously, what we need is um, a beacon for the spawn point, and obviously chests. And you could have furnaces if you wanted to, but you you don't really need that. All you need is a beacon and the chest. And then we put the beacon <clears throat> a few blocks up. As you know, they uh, spawn on it and then they drop down when it disappears. Uh, like that, something along those lines. And you can use world edit to copy the whole whole thing. And then you can duplicate it. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. Go to the middle, do four slash four slash copy. Rotate it 90 degrees, paste without air, so you do hyphen A, and then you repeat the command a few times. Um, so then it should look like this. And there we go, you've got your own little um, map. So once you've done that, you are going to want to select all of the map using uh, World Edit again. And then you can save it as a schematic. Uh, so this is definitely the easiest way of doing it. Um, so the way to save it as a schematic is by standing on top, copying it, all of the map of course, and then doing schematic, save and a map name, so map 2. Then if you do SWR, it will show you all the um, commands, so let's go ahead and do SWR create, and then what are we going to call it, uh, test, yeah might as well. And then it will put you into an empty void map. So in here you can either build your own map or you can just import the schematic. So that is obviously the easiest method. If anything goes wrong, you've still got the uh, schematic. Um, yeah, just in case. So then you can do schematic load. Um, and then what was it, map 2. Make sure you use two slashes. And then paste minus A, which obviously doesn't load the air blocks and is a lot less laggy. And uh, that should work. So once you've done this, um, you'll have all the spawn points here and here. You can edit it if you want. Uh, and then you can just do forward slash SWR, save, and then the map name. 
So as you can see in chat, it has been uh, created. Then we need to actually register it so players can play the map. And then if you go back to your spawn world, we need to set the uh, location where players are teleported uh, when the game is over. So just set spawn like that. And uh, up here, we can look at some things. So SW Games shows any games that are going on at the moment. Uh, there isn't any. So then if we do SW Menu, we can have a look at this awesome menu where you can buy kits. You can buy colours of glass, which is a really cool feature. Particle effects and projectiles. So um, yeah, this uh, plugin has improved massively last time I uh, saw it. Um, and I believe there is only a couple more commands like stats. Um, just pretty, pretty nice, pretty straightforward. Um, spectate, and uh, we are going to do SW kit um, list. So here are the maps. If I do SW join, maybe caves. This is um, the default map. I didn't create it; it just came standard. Uh, we can look at the kit menu, and here we go. So this is an example. You can give people enchantments, uh, potion effects, and uh, set a cost. Game options, uh, pretty awesome. You can vote for chest type if you had any. Uh, vote for jump boost, and loads of other things. So this is amazing. It's uh, completely changed. So you can vote for dusk, weather, could be raining. Uh, so yeah, this is. Really amazing, and then you can obviously return to spawn if you didn't want to play anymore. Um, obviously, when players join the game, they get these three items, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much everything in game. Um, obviously, you can edit a lot in the config, which is where we're heading now. So, here we are in the plugins folder, and as you can see, there is a lot of folders and YML files. So, um, most of them are pretty straightforward, so we're going to start at the top with the kits folder. Now up here, um, we have the only kit, which is here by default. You saw this in game, so it has potion effects, it has these items which I dropped on the ground, and obviously this is the law, the cost, etc, etc. So if we want to create a new one, all you've got to do is uh, basically just copy and paste it, rename it here to um, something else, such as um, Warrior, and then go into your new file. You can um, rename it here as well and give it an icon so uh, you can change it to anything really. This is all very, very uh, straightforward. Menu position, this is important that you change this. If they're in the same place, it will glitch out. Um, so obviously, you can go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Um, details, this is law, you can change that to what you want. And down here, you can add or remove uh, potion effects such as um, poison. I don't know why you'd give them poison, but that's a pretty straightforward one. Um, and then the length of time that it affects the person, so maybe 20 seconds, and how strong it is, so the second level of strength. And up here, this is also straightforward, so you could give them maybe um, beef if that's the correct um, name, or carrot, carrot's easy. Uh, and then maybe 32 carrots, like that. And obviously you could give them an enchantment, but <laughs> what's the point? So maybe uh, damage all four, is that the correct way of doing it? I'm not sure. But uh, you can look this up on this, um, and it will tell you all the enchantments, so yeah. Sharpness four on carrots. So that's how you create m multiple kits. And as you can see, you can uh, change the price here. Uh, so if we go back, these two folders you don't want to touch. That They're just the, um, the player data and the maps that you created. Then if we uh, look at the chest files, so up here, this is also pretty straightforward. The first number is the percentage out of 100 that it will appear. So obviously 100, it will definitely appear. And 1%, it will probably never appear one in 100 times. So um, yeah, that's let's create a new one just to show you how it works. So 50% wood colon two, so what's that, birch, and 32. So there's a 50% chance that you'll get 32 birch wood um, 
in the random stuff chest. And then um, you can add more like that. So it's pretty straightforward. So uh, I don't want to make this video too long. I know it's probably over 10 minutes already. And you could also do the same thing here. Now the actual config, uh, this has a lot of things in that you can change. Um, so you can like, give them commands that they can use in game. Uh, you can change sounds. Uh, there is a list of sounds somewhere on the internet. And just Google it. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, you can change the lobby menu items and other items. But I'd leave this all um, all the same because it's fine. But up here, I'd set join sign join mode to true. The way to create a sign is square brackets with SWR in, and then the map name on the second line. You can also um, allow people to join via a pressure plate. Lots of people have had problems with that in the past, but I've, I've found it, it works fine. Uh, you can use an external economy if you want to, rather than a coin method. Uh, minimum percentage players, so if the map has four players, it needs two to start. So that, That's pretty cool, uh, rather than an actual amount. The next few files that we'll be looking at, such as the glass colours and the shops, are pretty straightforward. You can have the colours here and then the cost. So um, maybe people would prefer colours like orange and magenta and you could make these more expensive than say black or brown. So um, if we go to the both shops, this shop uh, which is pretty straightforward, you can add more items by adding the cost at the start, then the item and obviously the amount at the end. So um, like that. 500 for a diamond sword and then the spectate shop is formatted in the same way you can obviously add uh, various different enchantments like that so uh, if we go into the projectile effects um, this is formatted in the same way as the glass colors and the particle effects same way so yeah that is um, mostly everything there's only a few more left um, the messages and OP chest. So I wouldn't mess with the messages, there's so many here, um, it would just take you ages to edit them. So leave that alone and OP chest is the final one and obviously this is formatted in the same way as um, the first um, chest that we went in. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.